Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Portugal versus Germany. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And the contest begins. Leuports. Now here's Marojan. Sven Yahut. Oh, big chance! And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, let's look at this again. And what a one-two it is to unlock the defence. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Now back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Magul. Germany pushing forward with options available. Jennifer Marojan. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. They favoured a short one here. Brilliantly blocked. Cleared away comprehensively. Making progress. The cross is on. Fruitful looking attack. High echelon goalkeeping there. Now sending it in. And a struggle to get it away properly.
That's excellent defending following the cross. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. is happy the bar was there well had that gone in the game was firmly in their hands now though they've got to make sure they don't let this slip Nazareth Portugal pushing forward with options available Dolores Silva Jessica Silva Pinto and a fine tackle promising sequence and space for the cross veering in field here and the cross not quite imaginative enough could be a chance to break here Leone Maya Onto Schuller. Well, potential danger. Is she going to score? Still possibilities. Jennifer Marojan firing it in. And the keeper was there. She did her job. Corner it is as Germany pushed to add to their lead here. Trying to pick out a teammate. Just the clearance that was needed. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, the counter chance was there, but no more. Could be threatening. This looks interesting. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? And over comes the corner. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Lina Magul and Leupoltz What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them Jennifer Marojan Debritz Onto Rau Schuller. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back in business here, the ball is moving again and it's advantage Germany after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card.
And they deal with the threat this time. Well, can do better in terms of the pass. Pinto. It's a promising move from Portugal. She has options. Can they get in behind them? An attack full of promise. And a chance to whip it in here. And will it be the leveller? And not quite accurate enough. Off the post. And it's going to be a goal kick here. Maroshan. Lea Schuler. Leupoltz. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. So a personnel change then. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And the ball's gone. Promising-looking attack. Silva. And no way through. Pinto. Could be! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. So Portugal trailing and looking for inspiration from this corner. Over it comes. Brilliantly blocked. Lena Oberdorf. Now with Debritz. Schuler. Not showing good patience. Body in the way. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And they will make the change now. The crossbar got in the way. Not the worst free kick in the world, but the goalkeeper equal to it. 
Well, that would certainly have wrapped up the victory. They're not quite home and dry just yet. Ten minutes left for play. Marshall. How can they find a late leveller? Magnificent defending. Lina Magul. Take it away. Debritz. Wonderfully weighted pass. Couldn't hang on to it. Well, happy just to keep it near the corner flag. And snuffing out the danger. Plays it back. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Played over. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.